Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I wanted to do something that I did before, but like more like a uh, kind of expanded version because I think ever since I got back from LA, uh, I did make a video about like living in LA versus New York City and that did so well. And so I wanted to kind of get back to it, but this time specifically just make it about New York City. Uh, I think there's so much, so much misconception or just like, I don't know, like uh, a lot of things people think about New York City, but they don't actually know how it is like to. So I just thought like maybe I can do this uh, because I really want to be fully transparent with you guys about how it is actually like to live in New York City. Uh, nothing, I, it's not gonna be like all negative, promise, but there are some negative things that like I will probably mention, but there are also some good things that I want to mention that like so people know that it's not just like all bad, but there are also like some challenging parts of it living in the city, so I thought uh, I can make a video of this. So let's start. First thing first, uh, I have mentioned this before in my other video, but I again want to mention it again. Uh, I don't know, I literally said it again three times. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so I want to say yes, New York does, New York City does have a transportation, public transportation, and uh, it does work most of the time, but it, there are times that it doesn't. So there's like, construction or weekend schedule or sometimes someone maybe jump in front of the train i don't know what happened exactly it will literally stop like there are a couple times i was in the subway and like i didn't leave that early to get to my certain place but like subway literally just stopped and they will not make an announcement or anything it will be dark and all of a sudden they'll be like oh sorry for the inconvenience or sorry uh we are having a signal problem so you're like stuck there for like 15 20 minutes and you're just you're just there and like you're late so that happens a lot especially in this mta like that sometimes uh all of a sudden like i don't know what is like happening is like just randomly they cut off the line or something Last time, like Union Square, because right, there are some areas of the town that is like very main, so even express lines has to go through it. But sometimes it just doesn't happen. So, um, and you literally just wait there. Or sometimes they're like, you have to take a shuttle bus. And let me tell you, shuttle buses are the worst. Not like it's like the people who like use the bus or anything. It's just more like the, like they never come on time or they drop you in a random place, then you have to take another state, like I have to, another train. So that adds to your commute and your commute becomes like super, super long. So one thing I would say like it's not great. So, and the worst part is, okay, this happens a lot. Like I know this is maybe not super important, but it is important for me. So, okay. So in the summer, obviously uh, it's hot, like especially in the East Coast, it's so humid. So you're literally sweating. Um, out, even outside so when you go in the subway you're expecting it to be colder so first of all station itself doesn't have any AC anything no heat no AC nothing uh, only the cars itself has it but sometimes cars also break down so there's no state like no AC or heat uh, so you're literally sweating in a subway you imagine if you have like shirt on or something you're literally dripping sweat so I have even seen people doing that like like in front of my eyes, so it has happened so many times. Uh, and in the winter, it's exact opposite and it's just awful because you're a little wearing like Canada Goose or just some coat and maybe like this. When you get like, the subway station is fine, but when you get in the car, it's so hot because there are so many people and on top of it, there's heat. So it's kind of like you're sweating and like not sweating. This is how people get sick, so. It is very, very inconvenient. Maybe it's minor for people, but I feel like that's so big because like you're literally commuting and you have to take off your coat, you have to put your coat on. It's like, it's it's a lot. It, and especially when it's crowded, imagine how many people are wearing coat and backpacks. It's like, literally you're like this, like stuck against someone else and like, you barely know. I feel like sometimes in New York, this is maybe <laughs> wrong to say, but like, you literally have more contact with strangers than the people you know. Like. I feel like I probably touch more strangers than the people I know, yeah. Or like have contact, I guess. 
Because literally it's just so crowded sometimes. It's literally like shove each other. It's very crazy. So that is one bad part about it. So I would recommend Uber, but it does do get it does get crazy sometimes, especially in the when it rains or snows. The prices are like crazy. So but the other side is like even if it is not that expensive, what happens like there's traffic, especially during rush hours, you're kinda like stuck. So it's like Good luck going to that place on time because like you're stuck in traffic and like and oh this is another thing is like I'm going very broad but like I feel like it's so important to know if you want to drive in the city. So drivers are awful, uh super, super rude. Uh or especially the taxis are just they would literally cross like red line or anything. It's like no one watches any rules, it's kinda like I don't know if anyone isn't actually follows. Uh, that's and now that also applies to the subway because like you would literally see so many people jumping over the turnstile, jumping or like going under it. There's so many tricks that like they do now. I mean, if you're poor, like if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. I get it, but like really though. And the thing is now, what is so weird is like instead of like MTA fixing the trains and everything. They are hiring like uh, police officers to stand in front of the gates so like they can watch to see who's paying, who's jumping over, who's not. So they have the money for that, but they don't have the money for fixing things. So that is one thing. Okay. I know I went too far, but I feel like that was so important to say. So other thing I want to say is uh, networking. So one thing I am so, so grateful to be in your city is that networking is so... Uh, it's one of the places that like it's very easy to network with people. So you will literally meet people from anywhere. Like uh, it is so cool to have that opportunity. Uh, I don't know how it is in other states or cities. Um, in LA, it's a little difficult. I would say that. Although I haven't lived there that long, but I feel like even the time that I was there, it's very difficult to uh, network with people. But in your city, it's very easy to network with people. And especially when you go to events or marketing events or like all these parties and stuff, you do meet a lot of people and they're from like totally different backgrounds. Some is probably like marketing, some is like finance, some is fashion. So it really helps a lot in terms of marketing and or in terms of like if you are want to work somewhere else. So like it does really help and you can ask them around if you're looking for a job or anything like that. I feel like for anyone who's... Uh, around my age or younger or something and looking for a job uh, that is such a cool place to start with and you can definitely find internships or somewhere to get yourself off the ground so networking has been great for me like I have gained so many followers through uh, events and through other people and also through um, just other companies I have met so many companies that have been already following me but like I've never met them in person so it's been such a great opportunity to have like that option with events and networking so I would definitely recommend uh, anyone who's into like starting a business or who wants to work somewhere or want to start a job uh, like get a job like right after college New York is definitely the place for that you can definitely start somewhere here uh, there's so much opportunity so that's one best part about New York City. There is one this misperception. Uh, I feel like that comes from people generally from out of town or they live in a different state that they don't know about. Uh, not like it's, I feel like it's wrong. I'm just saying like, I feel like it's just uh, different comparing to other states. So, or other city even. So in New York City, so everything is definitely, because uh, it's the capital of fashion. So um, it is definitely very, what would I say? fast paced so everyone is always doing something like you are either doing that you're doing that like everyone is always like some people have three two jobs so like it's very very busy world and everyone is always always like running somewhere or like running out of the subway or they're late because subway is running late. like it, not just that it's like there's always so much going on so sometimes I feel like what happens is people that is like when they move to the city uh, they lost in touch with the people that they knew before. Not like because they are doing it on purpose, I'm just trying to justify it in a way that like, I feel like city is kind of takes time, like from you, like from your life. So it's not like it's like a p other place, like uh, not shading or anything, like Texas, that like it's very slow paced. Like it's great for that, but I just feel like in your city, everything is just like 
you do this, you do that, you do that. Like, nothing ever stops. So you, by the time, like, everything is over, so let's say, like, I'm just gonna say, like, simple schedule. So for me, like, because I freelance and I also go to school, so, like, in the morning and towards, like, the midday so i do work and edit videos photos and everything check emails respond to emails then i go to gym so that about takes a two and a half hours or something like that it's done and i eat and after that i do a little more editing then i go to class and by the time i finish the class it's like nine or ten o'clock and i get home and like that's me so it's pretty like and some people even have crazier schedule than this so it's very very busy so i feel like uh that is something i want to say that like you should know that don't expect like it's gonna be anywhere else it's definitely gonna be tough moving here or being here or working here so uh and it's gonna be very hard to kind of like um uh make friends like not like people are not friendly or anything they are but it's just very hard to keep in touch with people because everyone just busy like uh, that is one thing which is my another point that i want to get to although you you, can, you will meet like really really cool people at the events or other places or sometimes parties or bars like that's something cool like you can meet like some really nice people what happens is like i feel like people do get busy not like they're flaky but like they just forget or like they have other things to do so you need to follow up with them to get the conversation going so or you, you guys can meet later on but don't expect that like they will contact you uh they might but like more like very unlikely that they would um so it's very low chances that they would so i'm just saying that like and this happens a lot here uh i feel like in new york city and same applies to like um, a lot of big cities because the, everything is fast and people just kind of lost in touch like same even with like california like especially in the la area but that one is like a little different because if people just generally don't keep in touch it's because like they have to drive far like if you don't live in a similar area or you are like over 15 20 minutes far uh i mean more than drive so there's very less likely that like they're going to actually visit you or hang out with you it's just difficult last thing i want to say uh i know i have been like talking a lot but i feel like these are some important things uh to i really just want to give you guys advice on this uh not like i know so much but this is what i have experienced so far and i have been here like six seven years so uh, i just feel like this has been um Quite a journey so uh one thing this is relates to dating or like having a relationship wise so i know a lot of people have saying it even like i think shelby church was saying it about la too which is true it's very very difficult in big cities like new york la to have a relationship that kind of continues uh so most of the time when you're in like uh, suburb areas or something like that because everything is just little different so it's and people are different and the uh, population is different so you tend to have more steadier relationship with friends or or even have like boyfriend or girlfriend in new york that is a little different so what happens is like there's definitely so many people here like a lot of people so uh new york population is huge but what happens is that like everyone's circle is different a little bit so you definitely get mad, like, because a lot of people, the way they meet people now, like, I mean, a lot, like, dating-wise, I'm saying, not so much friends. Uh, friends would be different, but, like, guys or girls, definitely through apps, so it's, like, Tinder, Hinge, uh, Chappie, Grindr, if you're gay, uh, I'm Chappie, too. Like, there's, I mean, so much stuff, so, um, there's so many apps, so you can definitely use any of them to, you know, uh, meet someone uh, or maybe potentially start a relationship but what happens is like again this goes back to what i was saying before that people are busy so and they're also they would say this and i hate saying this but it is true they would say there are plenty of fish in the sea so what happens like if this something doesn't work out it's just they're not gonna contact you like they're not gonna be like oh my god this didn't work out let's try to keep making it work they're not gonna make it work. Like, in a nice world, you would think that they would, but they're like not going to, so. In a real world, uh, it's not gonna happen, so they would probably forget about you. Um, I know this is so cruel, like, I mean, harsh to say, but like, it happens a lot. Um, and what was worse is like, so it's like, even if you like, 
probably meet out with someone or um, hang out with someone or you kind of were like seeing each other a few days, a few weeks. Sometimes it just doesn't work out and like you wouldn't even expect like some ending either. So it will be like ghosting most likely. Uh, they will not talk to you or it will be like less in touch or like people, person that you probably had like um, sex with and it's just kind of like over. So uh, you would think that maybe you will go somewhere, then it doesn't. You'd be even surprised if they remember your name. Most likely they don't. So um, I know these are like so harsh, uh, but I feel like I have experienced this so much. And this is, I just want to be 100% honest with you guys. Dating is very, very difficult in New York City. And sometimes what happens, like I feel like you will have a connection with that person, but what happens is that like they're busy you are busy and schedule sometimes doesn't work out or they're traveling and what happens is like there's this word saying that like out of sight out of mind and it kind of works just like that so if you don't see someone or if you don't talk to them for a while they just forget and well and this thing is no one ever follow up and sometimes when you follow up they don't even get back to you or they don't even know who you are honestly because i remember a couple times that i had a french like good friend like good relationship with this guy but because i went to uh la for a month we did talk a couple times but like not so much but when i come back and we were supposed to meet and i did follow up but that person never follow up so i did not take it personal or anything but i'm just saying this happens a lot a lot more than you think so it is very very hard to get used to that here and what happens is that i feel like in the beginning when you move here from another town like when I moved here from, like, I mean, because I was from D.C., came here, then after I came, I went to Boston for school, then I came back. So it definitely does take, uh, like, adjustment, because I feel like in Boston or in D.C., you would, you would expect that people are, they would follow up, they would talk to you, they would still keep your phone number and stuff. Uh, in New York, not so much. So you would expect, like, people would talk to you, but what would happen is that even the person that you have, like, a kind of a ongoing, uh, thing this is not thing to do with friendship it's more like the someone that you potentially have a sexual encounter or you potentially have been seeing each other casually sometimes it will just not even go anywhere or they will not even talk to you again so it's kind of like hit and quit um so it is very very hard to even get into something that's like serious um and I feel like since like when you move here, you kind of get one of become one of those people. Uh, it kind of like New York rubs on you, so you kind of like, oh okay, I I'm not gonna contact that person, like or this not like I know I'm I'm not blaming anyone for that either. It's kind of like it happens uh, because like you get used to, then you see people doing that to you, so you just become like others. Um, and more specifically, this goes back to dating scene. Um, definitely some circles are super small and especially if you live in a certain area or if you are that certain person who always goes out or who go out occasionally you end up seeing like similar faces or similar people that it gets even smaller crowd because like you will see their faces on the app or one app or the other app or the same person literally like it's just it's so crazy that like you would think that like in new york is big I would say it's not big enough, uh, especially in my experience, I have seen uh, like so many people, like we have run into the same people like over and over. The weird part is, this is like one thing I'm gonna say and I will probably end this video because I feel like it's getting so long, um, even the couple times that I had, uh, it, it was like a casual hookup. Um, it was once or twice with this guy then we never contacted and lost in touch so i again remembered him when he hit me up again with another username or whatever so but i knew it was him he didn't know it, that like we had sex before so that was like so awkward for me i'm just like wow and this happens a lot more than you think too it's kind of like people just like forget and like you would literally even remember that i'm just like how did they just forget right like how did that happen so um it is kind of sad in terms that way, but I mean, but I have seen people having a decent relationship, but some of these relationships, it does take time. So I have to say that it does take a while to f 
start a relationship in here, uh, something serious. Um, and also most relationships that I know they have started at, or that's like long term, they have actually known each other before they moved to New York City. And that's, they're still continuing that. But I have also seen relationships that through some of my friends, it fell apart as soon as they moved to New York City. So I'm not saying like it's a curse or anything, but I'm just saying like it's very difficult. So take that into account. Um, so it's not going to be easy. But if you're moving here for a career wise, it's definitely a great place for this. It's great for that. And another thing I would say is like, and I have heard a lot of people saying this and maybe they will agree with me now. Uh, well, I agree with them now too. So before I wasn't sure, but now I do. So a lot of people do say this. So if you can make it in New York, you can definitely make it anywhere. That is for sure. Because it's a very tough place. But also a lot of people who are always in New York City, they're not here for forever or they're not here to build a life here they're literally here to build a business or get their career off the ground then they will move on to something else and this happens a lot which is the reason i feel like some relationships don't work out because like i feel like as soon as you get in touch with someone or you kind of think something works out they move away or they have to go somewhere or they find a job or like they move so it's a lot it happens a lot so i feel like that's why some of the relationships gets kind of um fall, they fall apart um, but I do definitely say that like it's a great great place for uh, career and networking so um, Anyways, yeah, this is like all my experiences so far uh, I know I kind of rambled a lot and I talked a lot But I kind of wanted to just this is so therapeutic for me to even just say it So I feel like even if not a lot of people watch it. I just really want to get this off my chest I've been wanting to do it for a while um, so uh, I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.